All right, Stephen. We're on our way to a service call, and the service call description is the central AC. I believe it's blowing cold or blowing warm. Let's see what it says without disclosing too much over here. We have AC not blowing cold. So, we're going to assume that it's blowing something. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, I don't like to make assumptions, yeah. but if it's blowing something, that means we do have 24 volts. Yeah. Right? And we have line voltage to the air handler yeah. if the system is blowing air. So it's not blowing cold, it's probably blowing just ambient temperature air. Um, and if that's the case, one of the first things we're going to do, without even getting to an attic yet or anything else like that, we're going to go outside and we're going to put our ear against the condenser, if it's not already running. Alright, so if the condenser's not running, we're going to put our ear against the condenser and see if we can hear that contact of being pulled in. Alright, fucking loud ass trucks. And if we hear that contact that pulled in, then we're going to check for voltage at the disconnect. Yes. If we have voltage there, then we're going to check for voltage at on L1 and L2 on the contact. Yep. All right? And then we'll go from there. Okay. So guys, stay tuned. All right. So here we are. The airflow feels kind of weak coming out of here. Let's see if this filter is in here and if it's dirty. Want to pass me a uh, flat screwdriver? Yep. Damn, it's hot as can be. Let's turn that off. Uh. Evaporator coil. I don't know if you could look and tell by the video. Got some dirt on it, but it's not filthy and it's not dusty. So let's get the uh, the drill with the quarter-inch driver. Let's test the capacitor on the fan motor, and I would like you to go outside. And pull the disconnect for the condenser. I want to turn this back on. I just want to get a sense of what's going on up here. This is a 10, 10 UF. Ten. Capacitor is good. Freely moving, it's got some, it's fairly clean. Okay. Uh. 
ok just want to take a look and see I'm pretty sure this has got a fixed metering device. I just want to double check. Because that suction line was hot as balls. Yeah, see the capillary tube right there? So this capillary tube right there, old yeah. tube. So it's got a fixed metering device, not a TXV. So. that cover back on. Huh? Yeah. So we do have good airflow. So now we're gonna check outside. Mm -hmm. All right. So, what makes you think I need a quarter inch driver? Oh, I thought you were gonna just move the fan. No. So you just cut, let's, let's first listen to see if we get the Yes, we do. So if we ear up against that, you can hear that. We got this three ton. Uh, it's probably R22, I can't see it. Come on, no. Uh, I can't tell. Yeah, R22 right there. Three ton R22. So. If you remember last week, I told you that, I can't feel that, but the unit feels hot, mm -hmm. right? So let's plug this in and see what happens. No condenser fan motor. That's the problem here. Condenser fan motor is not operational, so let's take off this panel right here. And either we're going to have a dead condenser Dead condenser fan motor. Uh, let me get the let me get the red case. Thank you. Well, we're gonna see right now. Probably. Someone had a little fire there. Old remnants of an old fire. Looks like we got a hard start right there. It looks like it's duct taped in there. Yeah, it's duct taped in there. <laughs> That's bad boy. Some kind of time delay right there. But before we actually test the capacitor, let's get uh, that quarter inch driver. I mean, a uh, Let's see if I can move this fan blade, and we can't. So the fan blade has seized. They need a new condenser fan motor along with the capacitor for that. Make sense? All right, so, why don't you get in there, take this, let's take off the top cover there. And before we do that, here's our wiring to the condenser fan motor. Let's get a pair of needle nose. And let's just break the zip tie first. All right, so we have, this is a 240 volt condenser fan motor, like all of them are. We're gonna take off this black one right there. And we have a blue, which went to 
fan on the dual capacitor and we have this orange one which goes there so now Steven's going to take out these four nuts and we're going to take this fan motor out in one piece <clears throat> so put all the screws off to the side we don't want to lose them let's put our drill down as well so now grab that thing and we're going to lay it down somewhere and check out the specifications of this motor We're going to pull the whole thing out and we're going to lay it down somewhere. There you go. I'll put it down in there on the grass right there. Okay. Now it's, fr now it's moving freely. Let's get this flat screwdriver. I just want to check out the, the alignment of those okay so the motor is freely spinning now but we have an eighth of a horsepower 1075 rpm this shaft is pretty shafty pretty rusty okay all right i'm going to lube this down first let me get a uh, little channel locks. Sorry, I can't talk right now. Let's take out this set screw. The biggest challenge we're going to have is taking this fan blade off the shaft. Mm -hmm. Right? That shit is rusty. Throw a little extra on there. And while we're at it, let's get those as well. Okay. Let's get the grinder. Let's take off as much of this as we can so we don't have to pull through that much. And possibly be all right. Now, we need our pulley, a fan blade puller. And we need one of those Allen keys. And let's open this up some more. So now when you put this on, you don't want to fuck with that right there. Because you'll be retapping it. Right. Try to get those right in the center. That's not going to be cooperative. Oh, where did it? Where did it go? There is that right there. So let's put this right back there. Now this is not 100% this is going to work, but it's not that old, it's not like it's a million years old, but this should, this should come out. Huh? No, just... <laughs> okay. So that's that. And we are still centered there. 
Now, when I get that, where's that red case? this and see what happens look at that almost dead center right there not too shabby huh no I'm not horrible teacher <laughs> But I, I think I know what I'm doing most of the time. I'm not like that guy Steve Lav from Massachusetts with his dog Molly. So who needs a dog Molly? I got Steven. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I had Kelvin before though. Had Kelvin I had Kelvin before. Yeah. Kelvin SSB. Mm -hmm. Small school bus. <laughs> he took the small school bus to school. No. <laughs> 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 So now we have these four. Let's, we're done with this. Let's put this back in there. And I think it's gonna be 5 sixteenths. No, but it's too much shit in there. With the longer one? No, you know what, let me get the, uh, the uh, linesman's. Linesman? Yeah, actually let me just see this in there. Let me try your linesman's. Grab on grab onto that bad boy all right I'm gonna loop this down first let me get a uh, little channel locks sorry I can't talk right now let's take out this set screw The biggest challenge we're going to have is taking this fan blade off the shaft, mm -hmm. right? That shit is rusty. <laughs> we'll throw a little extra on there. And while we're at it, let's get those as well. Okay. Let's get the grinder. Let's take off as much of this as we can so we don't have to pull through that much. And possibly be all right. Okay. Now, we need our pulley, a fan blade puller. We need one of those Allen keys. And let's open this up some more. So now when you put this on, you don't want to fuck with that right there. Because you'll be retapping it. Right? Try to get those right in the center. That's not gonna be cooperative. Oh, where did, it, where did it go? There is that right there. So let's put this right back there. Now this is not 100% this is going to work, but it's not that old, it's not like it's a million years old, but this should, this should come out. Huh? No, it's just... <laughs> okay. So that's that. And we are still centered there. 
Now, when I get that, where's that red case? this and see what happens look at that almost dead center right there not too shabby huh no I'm not horrible teacher <laughs> But I, I think I know what I'm doing most of the time. I'm not like that guy Steve Lav from Massachusetts with his dog Molly. So who needs a dog Molly? I got Steven. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I had Kelvin before, though. Had Kelvin I had Kelvin before. Yeah. Kelvin SSB. Mm -hmm. Small school bus. <laughs> he took the small school bus to school. No. <laughs> 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 All right, so now we have these four. Let's, we're done with this. Let's put this back in there. And I think it's gonna be 5 sixteenths. No, but it's too much shit in there. With the longer one? No, you know what, let me get the, uh, the uh, linesman's. Linesman? Yeah, actually, let me just see this in there. Let me try your linesman's. Grab on. Grab onto that bad boy. Do that. And I guess I actually could have used this. Right? Get off. Yeah, I could have used that. But I didn't. Okay, let's get that condenser fan out of that box. Yes, ma'am. The only issue with that is uh, side yard clearances. Yes, you can do it, but you, to do it the right way, you would need a variance. Oh. Because you need to be, you're in a village, so I, I believe it's seven feet. Trust me. Oh, yeah. The fence was, a, was about six months in the making. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you're welcome. Okay. So first things we're gonna do is break these off. Actually, no. Oops, I almost fucked up. You know that? Yep. Wow. Oh, I almost fucked up. Right. I'll have to get, get another motor <laughs> out of the truck. Okay. It's fairly clean. So our spreads are different. However, they did give us other holes to use. Look at that. Talk about Favorite looking out with that one, huh? Yep. And they gave us screws. Mm -hmm. So, I think. Yeah, we're good.
Ah, you don't want to go, huh? Stubborn mule. It's all about the leverage. There you go. Get out of there. Huh? Yeah, it went back in there. This is a different size. Let's go for this one. Yes. So let me get this little piece. Let me get that little adapter thingy that I used. Oh, yeah. No, 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 the adapter one. Thank you. But let's see, hold on. I think I'm the wrong size. Let's try that one instead. There you go, much better. Okay. Now. This is our reversing wire, so if we need to reverse orientation of it. So let's just get all these wires where they need to be so we could work with this thing. So those go there, this will go there. And if you notice, yeah, we're gonna put that on, yep. And I doubt this is all gonna fit in there, but let's see. Yeah, look at that, it fits. In the ground, we will put to one of those right there. All right, uh, we're gonna take out the little drain plug. Nope, and we'll cut these off. Fan blade. Where's that set screw? Um, right there. Let's just set that right there. Grinder will be nice to the next guy. Okay. But before we do anything, let's get a zip tie. Couple zip ties actually. Um, yeah, I got this. I got this. All right. So while, while before we put this back together, Stephen, you're going to empty out that debris that's in there. You got the gloves on still. Let's 
good to do a professional job, not just hit and run. You know, try to, if you're going in there, you might as well clean it out. It doesn't hurt. It takes another couple minutes. All right. All right. And you're gonna put that there. Or oh, I'm gonna put it there. Wrong one. Just give me that. Where the other ones go? Oh. Huh? All right, so our black and our white are 240 volts. And then the others are our contact capacitor. So where's the capacitor that came in the box? No capacitor in the box? No really? Yeah. Oh. Enclosed is the enclosure. <laughs> capacitor to 7.5. Let's go get a 7.5. Let's put this away. Let's get rid of this. Remember where this goes? Yeah. Okay. Where's. That's all back there. This goes in there as well. Don't need the grinder. Nope. We'll get rid of the motor. Yeah, that's done too. We got some band iron. All right. Let's wire in this new condenser fan motor. A little more slack on that.
Now the white one. Can we get the snips? No, the snips. Other side, where the channel locks are, those are called snips. No, where the channel locks are, those are called snips. The big channel locks, the red handle thingies. Where they were. Thank you. What? Can we edit that out? <laughs> <laughs> you want to edit out the snips, huh? Oh yeah, you're going to get some feedback on that for sure. What school did you go to? <laughs> I forgot. Oh, you forgot? <laughs> I forgot? How do you forget? Damn. It's like that? You forgot what school you went to? No comment. No comment. School hard knocks. <laughs> Well, we're going to give a shout out to that school for not teaching you the uh, terminology of tools. Is it raining? I hope not. Still got two more service calls to do. This thing just where it was. That's going to have to go right there. I need the short one. Okay. The only issue we may have is reversing the fan motor. What am I hitting? I'm hitting the compressor, huh? So I need to go up a little bit higher. Fast. But I think when you went higher, the fan was going to I think we have a little bit more room. So let's raise that up. Okay, round two. All right, but now we have to reverse it. Because it's going in the wrong direction. Yeah. Okay. We'll do that by taking that out. Okay. Here we go. Now we get to clean up. 
All right, Ream RAPM 036 JEZ. Now cooling, we have an L21, which is low pressure. Low pressure control trip. System is off, we have 176 PSI. Let's hit the reset button, which is this one. Hold that down. L21 still for test. So that is test. Did this have a reset button on it? Zero. Stand by. All right, I need you to lo lower both thermostats. All right, so now we got little C, flashing little C, which is once it stops flashing. Right now it's the anti-short cycle timer. Once it stops flashing, we'll have, you know, stage one or if it's single stage unit operation. So that takes about two, three minutes, and then uh, we'll see how low of pressure this bad boy is. Uh, you can also get the... Yeah, we'll check that next. We can also attribute L21 to be a uh, indoor... Um, coil being dirty, um, blow motor not running like it should, um, the outdoor coil could be frozen if it was in heat, point, heat pump mode, um, or the uh, TXV or TEV not operating correctly. You know, you could uh, restricted airflow, right? I could give you a low pressure, you know, dirty filter or defective fan motor, um, but we'll see. This, this, unfortunately, this system has a history of refrigerant leaks, and uh, that's probably what it is. Again, years old now, right? uh, data manufacturer on this is yep, all nine years old now. All right, so we have our condenser fan motor running, we have compressor running, we're checking our pressures, and um, you normally got to wait a few minutes for this to stabilize, but as you can tell, we're already very low. Nine, I'm sorry, under 60 psi, evaporator coils five and a half degrees, so it's going to trigger LP. Low pressure, 21, lockout. Before we do that, we'll just pull the power and we're going to get the R410A and the scale. 